Hey guys, sorry for a more vloggy type video, but uh, I was working on something for you guys for this week, but just need more time to do it. Uh, so hopefully next week I'll have that out. Um, and uh, yeah, should be pretty for you then. But for now, I figured, hey, let's just make this just uh, hold you over for another week. So, uh, What's going on? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in this video, so if this gets random, uh, don't be surprised. But, uh, yeah. Um, we've been watching a lot of movies lately. Well, I have. And, uh, movies are cool. I, yeah, movies. That's a thing. Um, yeah. Halloween's coming up, a uh, couple months. Um, well, I guess a month since this, since August is almost over. Um, October's coming up, so Halloween's coming up. Halloween's the best day of the year. Uh, Christmas is a close second for me, but Halloween, that's the shit, man. That is the shit. And, uh, yeah. Uh... I guess I'm just going to talk to, about the macabre and shit. Um, but I uh, recently bought a decent amount of the Universal Monster movies. Um, I've seen most of them. And I just decided to buy them. I still need to buy some more. I don't have all of them. I need to buy... I forgot to pick up Invisible Man when I... It was there, but I forgot to pick it up. Uh, when I bought them, but I need to pick up Invisible Man, the last... I need to pick up Son of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, and then the last two, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon movies, and then all the, uh, Callous Mummy movies, so after the original Mummy, I need to get all of those. Um, but then I should have all the main ones. Uh, some of the ob obscure ones I wouldn't have, but, oh well. Um, but I do have most of the main ones. I have every Wolfman appearance because I have the Legacy Collection. Uh, Wolfman is my favorite monster. So, I, that was the first thing I ever picked up, Universal Monster Rise. And I like the Wolfman, and, uh, I like werewolves in general. Like, I if I could pick to be a monster, I would pick to be a werewolf. Um, mainly because I can just do shit, you know. Like, werewolves. Uh, like the only thing that can really kill them is silver. Where uh, vampires can die from a lot of different bullshit things, like uh, sunlight. Uh, garlic, crosses, steaks, uh, flowing water sometimes, um, anything holy can do shit to them, uh, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I just been enjoying some black and white movies, I also picked up four a four pack of the Hammer Dracula movies. It comes with the uh, Force One, uh, the uh, Taste the Blood of Dracula, then Dracula has ris risen from the grave, and then Dracula 1972? 80? Um, which is the last one, I believe. If it's not the last one, it should have been the last one, because that is a more of a completing arc for. Van Helsing, but I was kind of upset that only two of the movies that I have have Van Helsing in them, because uh, I like Peter Cushing, and uh, I would like to see some more Van Helsing action, but th most of them are good, um, you just gotta get in the right mood sometimes to watch those type of movies, so... If you aren't always in that mood, like some people, like me, um, but yeah, I uh, I'm a big fan of horror. Like I like most things. I 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of some of the more uh, to some of the stuff that comes out today, but I like uh, more. I like uh, some stuff like uh, Stranger Things is really good. I don't know if you would consider that horror, but there's that. Um, there's also uh, like I like the slasher movies. Like Evil Dead's probably my favorite horror franchise, and uh, Bruce Campbell's probably one of my favorite actors. Um, Ash vs. Evil Dead just came out on DVD like yesterday, so I have to go out and buy it uh, today or tomorrow or the next day, sometime this week, and just binge everything Evil Dead uh, until October 2nd, <laughs> because then Season 2 comes out. Um, but yeah, uh, I like most things of horror-related stuff. Uh, I don't know why, I just always had a fascination with, you know, like, ghost stories and shit as a kid. And, uh, I like black and white stuff because they feel the most, they have the more feeling of a ghost story rather than, ah, a jump scare, you know? Like, I like the feeling I get when I am told a ghost story or campfire story. Um, but I'm going to cut right now because this camera's about to die. Okay, we're back. Um, sorry about that, but I only had a minute left on my battery, so I had to change it real fast. But, yeah, ghost stories. I, uh, I just feel connected to more campfire stories. I don't know why I just do. I, uh, enjoy them. A lot, like, uh, and even what really, like, gets me creeped out is stuff that actually turned out to be real, like, stuff that actually happened that is a campfire story, like, uh, there's, like, a lot of different stuff. Like, uh, even, like, practical effects, I can, I'm not scared of most practical effects, but I, if I see something gruesome that is actually real and not prosthetics or makeup I get creeped out I don't know how I don't know if it's just like the extra factor that effects can't quite reach but is close enough um but it just has real stuff has this extra factor um and, uh, just like seeing pictures of, uh, the Elephant Man, or Rocky Dennis, or whatever his name is, the kid from Masca, which is fucked up, uh, because they make Halloween masks of the kid, like, come on, he was an actual person, like, leave him alone, like, I doubt he wanted to be a spectacle, I think he would probably just want to be a regular kid, so... Just leave them alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like seeing real pictures of stuff like that, it just adds this like extra what factor to it. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting to talk about horror, like in the macabre. Um, and I am just happy to share my knowledge with people about horror stuff sometimes. Um, like, I grew up on Scooby-Doo, uh, so I pretty much just grew up into more adult versions of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, but yeah, Scooby-Doo probably is the main reason why I'm into horror stuff, truthfully. Um, like, there's a amusement park in here uh, that we used to go to every summer uh, called King's Island, and uh, when we were kids, uh, they had the rights to the Hanna-Barbera 
have a bear catchers, but they mainly use Scooby Doo. So I have a bunch of Scooby Doo stuff. And they had a Scooby Doo ride that was like Zap the Ghost and stuff, and that was cool. Um, so yeah, it was just cool seeing uh, Scooby Doo as a kid, and then just like growing more into that type of realm. Um, so Scooby Doo is a big inspiration on my life and uh, I think Scooby Doo has this lasting power that has had an effect on multiple generations of kids and uh, I think that's cool when a franchise can become not the same continuity that it started off as but another lasting thing that every generation has their version of and is inspired or knows of this character and knows how this character interacts and I just think that's cool um but yeah uh, Scooby Doo he's 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 really cool um so I gotta say thank you Scooby Doo for making my life awesome and uh Thank you, random uh, TV channels that are horror-themed children, for having classics uh, on TV sometimes so that I can watch them. Like, I first watched Frankenstein and Dracula on Chiller, and I watched the first two Friday movies on uh, Chiller. So they were edited down, but... They were, I still watch them as like late elementary school, so I wasn't scared. It was just like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I just gotta thank my childhood for being awesome, for getting me to this appreciation of stuff like that today like seeing that shit now is just classic like Casper too um Casper like I watched the movie I have uh like a tape of the old cartoons too and uh yeah even Casper wasn't as big in my life but it was around just be like, hey, spooky stuff. I'm like, yeah, spooky stuff. And also, Wishbone. Wishbone, if you don't know what Wishbone is, um, it was a show about a dog, and uh, it retold uh, like classic literary stories. And they they did some horror themed ones, like they did Frankenstein, they did uh, Sleepy Hollow. And that stuff is just cool. Like, one, I know literary stories because of Wishbone. And two, they did multiple genres, not just one genre. They did every genre. So, it's just cool to see. And, uh, the macabre is. A cool thing. Uh, Halloween is a cool thing. Um, why people don't like Halloween as much, I'll never know. Um, but the macabre, Halloween, uh, everything is awesome. Um, like, it's okay to be scared sometimes. So, uh, watch a good horror movie and, uh, have some popcorn and have a good time. I'm Colonia C. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Three day weekend! Yeah!